Hey guys, Chris with Better Editor, and today we're gonna cover an entire video edit from start to finish. It's a simple edit, but it uses some fun footage that you can see back there, and it has an awesome song. We're gonna take these two different things and put them together to make them seem like they're meant for each other. Now, I use this edit that we're gonna make today in my new workflow course called Advanced Workflows with Premiere Pro to teach a process called overcutting. If you don't know what overcutting is or you just wanna learn more about it, please check out the course. It's in the description below. Now, let's jump into this edit. I'm gonna turn on a few more camera angles so we can see what's going on. Let's have some fun. So the first thing I'm going to do before I jump into anything is I'm going to conform these clips to 23976 using Premiere's interpret footage option. The next thing I'm going to do is get some selects going. So I'm going to pull all of my footage into one sequence and start culling it into the clips that I think that I can use in my edit. I'm going to speed this part of the process up. That way we can get to the fun part of actually putting this footage to some music. And what I'm noticing is because these clips came from ArtGrid, they're already pared down to really good selects. Now, the ones that I like the best, I'm gonna pull up to the top and I can use these as a pivotal moment in the cut or maybe even a good clip to end on. Now I'm gonna dig into some music and figure out which track I wanna use with this footage. I'm really liking this amped adapter track because it's kind of funky and it's got a lot of drums to it. Let's check out another option though. Whoa, dude, that is in your face. I wish it just had some more drums to it. It's got way too much rock. Let's check out one more track. You gotta get into the Doesn't sound promising, but let's give it a minute. There's some drums. There we go. So I like the end of the groove song, but there's not enough cymbals in that thing, I don't think. I don't think it's gonna match up well with the footage. That's what we're going with, amped adapter. I'm gonna drag this into a sequence and start throwing in some clips. And from here on out, I'm really just gonna dive into the edit and work. So please watch my process, and if you wanna speed it up, absolutely do that, and from time to time, I will turn back and talk to the camera when I come across things that are worth talking about. And remember, like I said, we're cutting the entire piece, so that's gonna be a 30 second edit when we're done with this thing. So you might wanna go grab a latte. Now excuse me while I go make something fun. Sometimes when you're in the edit, you decide that clip that you thought wasn't gonna work when pulling selects actually isn't that bad. This is one of those times.
All right, so this is where our conforming to 2398 comes into a little bit of a problem. So it was at 25 and slowing it down just a little bit to 24 actually is introducing a little bit of a kind of slow motion that we're not interested in because this beat is really fast. So we are gonna have to speed up these clips, but in the end, I think the result will be worth the trouble. I should have done this from the get-go, but I think I'm going to make this spot anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds, no more than that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start editing the music down to what I want it to be, that way I can match up those shots to the actual music track that's playing.
still not happy. All right, so that'll work, but I want to see if I can make it a little bit shorter. Extra beat.
not sure about that shot. Yeah, I like this shot, but I don't know if that's where I want to go with it. Maybe this.
Amen. Amen. Like, I really want this to work, but he just doesn't hit the right symbol. That's the right one, though.
I still don't know about that end clip. I think it's going to be a hard one to pull off. We'll see. Got some weird artifacting around the drum handle, but when you play it back full speed, you don't really notice it. I'm gonna leave it for now. Ooh.
this shot just is not going to work. I don't like it. I want a few shots right there. Ooh, he's getting lucky. I hate it when that happens. So I really want to push in a little bit more to this shot and to make it match the rest of the footage, I'm going to need to add a mat to it. So I'm actually going to use another one of the clips and mask it and use that masked clip as my mat.
I love happy accidents.
не се правете за нещо. Let's see what we have at this point. So this is good, but it's not quite there. Let's drop you a little bit. Hate it. Ah, uh, that's what we need to do. Heck with this. No.
up there. Thank you. Yeah, I think that's how we're gonna have to get through there.
Sorry guys, looks like my camera cut out on me while I was recording, but don't worry, it'll be back in a few minutes.
Hey, look at that. Guess who's back? All right, let's watch it one more time and see what we think. Thank you.
All right, so we are done with that. I hope you learned something by getting to watch my process while I'm going through a full edit. Um, I think it came out pretty great, especially considering the footage and the music had nothing to do with each other before we put our hands on it. So if you would like to download this for yourself, I'd like you to take a look at my new advanced workflows course for aspiring video editors. Check it out in the links below. You can get your hands on this footage as well as a lot more. If you liked what you saw, please make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.